Welcome to this Tips and Tricks Hotels episode. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. Before you unpack, it's a good idea to bring your suitcase into the toilet and to leave it here while you check for the bed bugs on the bed. To avoid being bitten by any bed bugs, it's good to have a good checking to see whether there are any of the uh, droppings or any of the dark marks on the bed. I don't see any, so I am going to assume that this is clear of any of those bed bugs. When using remotes in the hotel, I always bring these wet wipes, these multi-purpose wipes, and then I wipe it down because I'm not sure how clean they are and you don't really want to catch any germs or any types of diseases off these remotes because they can be very dirty and filthy. Another good tip for you is to bring one of these Ziploc bags or any of those plastic bags and then you can put it in here so then you won't have to worry about any contamination from the remote. To block off any unwanted light that might come in in the morning, I would recommend closing the blinds and then using these clothes pegs to hold them into place. That way you will minimize the amount of light that come through these curtains. And I believe this is a really good trick to help you get some really sound sleep. Your peephole does not have a cover, I would recommend using a band-aid or plaster to block out any unwanted light from your hotel room. I have a declaration to make. Please subscribe to It's Paul Marcus on YouTube. A couple of other things that might make your stay a lot better would be bringing along a pillow spray to give you a better night's sleep and also, the hotel room that you are staying in might not have a bottle opener, just in case you are in desperate need of a bottle of beer, this would be a real lifesaver. Another trick that I have for you is check in the side of the cushions to see whether there are any coins that might have dropped from the previous guest. I found a thing or two in the past, so I would recommend you do the same. I would also recommend using your phone light to help you check under the bed for any coins or things of that nature underneath the bed. 
And finally, take what is left in the hotel room, whether you have used it or not, because you've paid for it already. So technically, they're yours. That would include any of these tea bags, these coffee pods, these sugars, milks, and sweeteners. And this also includes these toilet rolls as well. I hope these hotels tips and tricks will come in handy for you the next time you decide to stay at a hotel. And if you found any of this useful, why not hit the like button to show your appreciation? Better yet, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's Paul and Marcus, if you haven't subscribed already. And we also appreciate your comments and feedback that you have for us. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Happy hotel staying. Bye-bye. I don't want to be in it. And this also includes. <laughs> okay. Yeah.